we're back on the roof. So we got a no heat call. Uh, it's not heating and we had to go up this sketchy uh, roof. I had to put a ladder and bring this one up, put a ladder. You think they could have put an access ladder right here? Considering to the fact that they got rid of the uh, roof access right there. Could have at least put like a ladder there and a ladder there. You know, that way you just have the ladder up here. But no, we'd rather, you know, make you have to be sketchy with your ladders and haul one up. Anyway, uh, that's enough complaining from me. Let's uh, go ahead and open up this uh, ream and see what's going on with it. So here we go. Okay, so we got the power on. We're gonna go ahead and jump out uh, Y to R just to see to see what it's doing or not doing. Okay, so we got inducer. Gas is on. So we're following the secret, okay. Okay, so we got no igniter. Uh, so this is a spark ignition. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just check it. Um, it's not really much we can do. Basically, we gotta replace the board. Um, but we're gonna verify that the pressure switch is closing, which it is because the gas valve turned on. So inducer turned on, pressure switch closed. Igniter should have came on and then gas valve. So the fact that the gas valve turned on, that tells us that, um, that our pressure switch is closing. So, but yeah, so it looks like we got a bad um, uh, board. Uh, the ignition module is probably bad, but we're gonna just make sure all the wires are tight and connected, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we got our igniter assembly. It looks okay. I'm gonna clean it. Uh, since I'm pulling stuff out, I also pulled out the flame sensor. I'm gonna clean that too. Uh, and then we're gonna just ohm out this wire, make sure the wire is good, and then just make sure that this connection's uh, firmly planted in there. Because uh, basically it's a spike and then the wire just sticks in there and wraps around it. So uh, we just want to make sure that everything's tight connection before we just replace the board. Because if it turns out it's just a loose connection, replacing the board isn't going to really do us anything. Uh, and then I'm going to check the rest of the unit just to cover all my bases. So, Yep. Okay, so we got this all cleaned up. And we got our flame sensor all cleaned up. So we're going to go ahead and put those things back in there. We're going to mount this wire, uh, make sure everything's tight and then go from there. Okay, so we're ohming it out, so we're using a micro lead to go into that wire, and then just a regular lead to go into there. And we got 0.4, so the wire's good. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and just kinda roll this around, make sure we get all the wire in there. You can see this actually has a spike in it, and it just sticks right in there, so. Um, yeah, so I just wanna make sure that it's in there properly. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and plug it back into our igniter, and then we'll get our flame sensor all hooked up. Okay, so we got everything put back together. We're going to go ahead and power up and try it again, see what happens. like we, we should be getting matter yeah the gas valve just opened so yeah it looks like we got a bad board so now normally another trick you can do is when this igniter turns off if you unplug it you'll actually hear a little noise uh, you know like a little buzzing noise so let's see if we hear that Yeah, I don't hear the noise. Uh, now, we can't test this because it's 10,000 volts, so if I were to hook up my meter to it, it would blow up or fry it or catch fire or whatnot. Um, so yeah, uh, there's not really a way to test it unless you have a meter that can you know, measure that kind of voltage. Uh, but I don't, so I'm gonna go with uh, the, the uh, ignition module is no good. Uh, yeah, so. That means this whole, since it's built in, this whole board needs to be replaced. I believe this right here is the transformer for that. So it takes the 24 volts and steps it up to 10,000 volts. Uh, and that's just so you can get an arc. So we're gonna order up a board and then we'll have to come back and replace it. So we'll be back. Okay, so I was just, uh, just for giggles, I think this is for the transformer for the, um, 
for the igniter and it's got an OL. So I got an open line, so I think this coil's burnt out. So yeah, there's two little ports here that you can kind of get to. But yeah, I got nothing. So I'm wondering if maybe that's that's probably the problem. So anyway, I just thought I'd show that, but boards boards needs to be replaced. Yeah, and so I'm I've already checked these two capacitors, they're fine. I have the air conditioning on, everything's turning on. I'm gonna check the blower motor, but yeah, you wanna just make sure everything's working. Normally, uh, I don't actually have a lighter, but usually I would just, you know, stick a lighter in there and light it and make sure it works, but I don't have one. I broke it. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, you just want to do your due diligence and just check the whole system, especially when it's a package unit, uh, because the last thing you want to do is fix one thing and then two days later, especially here, because we have crazy temperature swings, like it's been warm. It's been like 80s, and then today it's like, what is it? It's like 50, 45 degrees today. It's out of nowhere. You know, and it snowed a little bit yesterday, like very lightly, but still, like we haven't had snow in a while and it's been like 80 degrees and then all of a sudden it starts snowing. So yeah, you know, so I could fix this heater and then all of a sudden it's hot again. They turn on the air, nothing happens. Looks really bad. So just make sure you just check the whole system when you're doing this. And if you're a commission-based technician, you know, then it's extra money for you because if you find problems with the AC, you usually you take care of it before, you know, they need to use it or vice versa. You know, if you're there checking the air conditioner, check the heater because uh, maybe there's something wrong with the heater and get prepared, you know, fix it before they need it. Uh, that way, when they do need it, it's ready to roll. But anyway, um, I'm going to order up this board and we'll be back to replace it and hopefully get this thing up and running. All right, and we're back uh, on the same day. So we got our new control board, so we're gonna go ahead and swap it out. So first things first, we wanna make note of what wire goes to what. We're gonna unplug everything, swap out the board. It just takes the four screws that holds it in and then plug everything back in. And then hopefully, hopefully everything works. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's a little trick when you're swapping out boards uh, so you don't have to take pictures or try to remember where everything goes. What I do is I just move it out of the way. I'll unplug this, because obviously this only goes one spot. And then we basically just go, we'll unplug one, plug it into where it goes and just match it. So that's just a time saver. You know, so you don't have to trace it or take pictures or whatnot. It's the most for sure way of doing it. So anyway, I'm gonna get this wired up. Yep. Okay, so we got everything wired in. We're all set to go. You're gonna jump between R and W, so here we go. Come on, spark. 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 Yeah. So yeah, we have ignition. So usually, usually, um, you want to check that, make sure that you know it's clean. But uh, basically, this transformer died. And so now that's why it's working. So we have ignition, so we're gonna go ahead and let it cycle through its full cycle and make sure everything's good. But so far so good, I've already checked the blower and all that, so we should be good. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.